Welcome, Jennifer. Welcome, Maluma. Welcome to Billboard Latin Music Week. We are Thank thrilled you. to have you here. Thank as you. You prepare your new movie, Marry Me. Yay. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So it's Kat Valdez, right? Yes, that's my character's name. And there's Bastian, but it that's wasn't going to be Bastian. It was going to be some rocker dude, then it was going to be some it, rap dude, some rap dude, <laughs> and then some like alternative dude. <laughs> really? Like, yeah, yeah. Listen, well, I didn't we, know that though. We talked about a lot of different people. Um, when you're thinking about it, you're like, it could be, it could be, it could be, it could be. And then we're like, what do we really want? We want the kind of hottest international. I wanted to make it an album in English and Spanish. Mm -hmm. So I, I wanted it to be the first English movie that had a bilingual soundtrack. Uh -huh. So okay. then we started thinking, okay, who right now is, is the hottest, you know, Latin, you know, <laughs> guy out there who's making music? And who could act, who could possibly act, right? Because I really wanted a musician and so did the director. We wanted a, we thought we could get a great musician who could act, that that would be the best. Because then they wouldn't have to fake the singing, yeah. which is sometimes not the best for actors, right? Mm -hmm. And and honestly, Maluma was like, I think the first name that came up, top of the list, top yes. of the list. Thank you. What was the first day on set like? I want both of your versions. The first day. What was the first scene that we did? Yeah, when, when we were fighting with Owen, that we were um, in this little hallway, remember? Oh, was that the first day? The first day. The that first was day. your first day. Exactly. Okay, so I have been filming it. Oh, yeah. You oh, must... my God. Yeah, that was but, a big but deal. But that was hilarious. That was hilarious because, <laughs> because that was the first time that I, that, that I uh, met uh, Owen, right? And then I had to scream to him and then I had to say a bunch of things to him, like bad things, you know? But you had I to beat up, well, like you exactly. wanted to beat him up, like you exactly. wanted to kill him. Yeah. I, wanted, I wanted to kill him actually in the, in the movie. And, and then, Owen always looks like he's hurt anyway. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> but for me it was kind of tough, you know, because I had to to get into a uh, bastion role, you know, just like, yo, this is your acting it's real. moment, it's real. You have to it's happening hit right him, now. you know, you have to <laughs> almost hit him, right? And then I, I said all the things to him and then he came back and he was like, bro, I really felt all the things that you were saying to me, man. I really felt the scene. You did it great. Aww. And I was like, shit, Owen Wilson is saying that to me, the first scene that I'm and doing, Owen, you know? And Owen is amazing in this movie. Yeah, He is great. so lovely and charming and everything you want him to be. He plays a math teacher <laughs> and, and uh, Maluma plays a, a, a huge superstar. <laughs> And oh my God. yeah, and it was just, they, they are both really, really yeah. exceptional. What was your advice to him? I don't know. Did I give you any advice? I mean, I help you in like moment to moment, like do I, like you say this or be yeah, more like I that. Would say that the, I, I wouldn't... the best advice is the energy. You know, when you get to the, to the scene and you have to start acting, the energy that you gave me, you know, like just chill, relax. Everything's going to be great. We cast him because we knew it was him. Yeah, you know, he could be himself. He could be as natural as he, he understood this innately in a way that an actor never could. Mm -hmm. What it was to be that guy. He is that guy. And so my job kind of as a producer and also his leading lady was to make him feel as in the moment and real and natural as we Super could make natural, every moment. Easy. That was and the advice. He, just be natural. Just be, be natural. Uh -huh. Now he is that guy, but you're that girl, too. Yeah. No, because Kat Valdez <laughs> is you. Yeah. It's not like when you did Selena, you were Selena. somebody else. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So was this was this also kind of um, I, I don't want to use the word earth shattering, but cathartic. Maybe it was yeah. a little cathartic for me um, because it was meta, right? Like mm -hmm. I was playing myself mm -hmm. and also kind of some of her emotions of like trying to find love and find a person who understood her and accepted her for all of what her life was yes and uh, and that really was what the movie is about is her finding kind of a per perfect match but n not what people would think is her perfect match yeah. you know what i mean i get it it's not a musical but the music is so integrated uh -huh. and jennifer you were saying at the beginning that some of the songs were already done even before maluma came in yeah so tell us both of you how the process of the music was if the songs were changed to adapt him, what music you brought to the mm -hmm. table? Well, everything was very fast. You know, when, when I knew that I was gonna be part of the project, they were mm -hmm. like, okay, so 
we needed to start writing songs. Two songs. <laughs> exactly. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, let's go. I was in Colombia actually, and, and I took one of my producers, Edgar Barrera, he went to Colombia, and then another of my guys over there, we started uh, writing this song, Segundo, and then they like it, but then they, they were like, okay, we need another like more commercial reggaeton song, right? And that's when we did this other song, One in a Million, One in a Million, and that was fast. I mean, I was super motivated. I, I just wanted to do the best, but I, I knew that the the music that I was doing actually was was, was it all, it all it was gonna work, you know. But the rest of the album was actually really difficult mm -hmm. because I wasn't making a, a J Lo album. I wanted mm -hmm. it to be different than the things that I had done, mm -hmm. and also I was weaving the songs and writing them for the story, and that that was what I you know when I was wasn't on stage or wasn't rehearsing for the show, I was listening to music and then mm. when we got his songs they we kind of they match yeah. it was it was we like okay it. these these work all together as a as a as a as a soundtrack for this mm -hmm. this world that we're creating and they're very different that's a crazy, mm -hmm. each other they're very different but they they're connected you know like yeah. the whole the whole track the mm -hmm. whole album is, is amazing the whole songs are they're different but they they match. Yeah. We spoke and he was like, I have a couple songs. I'm going to send you one. I said, I have a song too. I'm going to send you one. I uh -huh. sent him Pati. He sent me Lonely. Lonely, which we used to call Negrita del Bronx. Negrita del Bronx. <laughs> and I used to love the name. I, I still know. love it. Me too. And they, you know, ¿Qué pasó con Negrita del Bronx? they liked Lonely better. You know, yeah. they. They. But um, we, we like Negrita del Bronx. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> um, so we, we did those two songs. And again, very natural. We just kind of put them out. Now, I want to hear, and I, I hope you can talk about this. I understand that there's a scene that was shot at Madison Square Garden. Yeah. yeah can you talk so to me magical. about that? Because it was a Maluma concert that he was actually playing. Yeah. yeah. But then you made that into a scene in the movie. Oh, and it's it's, it's amazing. Too. <laughs> that was that was beautiful. But I remember the time. Remember all the things that happened? Yeah, you were upset. Like I was they, upset. We, well, listen, wait, listen. <laughs> when you're Do shooting tell. a movie like that, you, it's a dream it's a to be able. It's a responsibility. Well, I mean, it's also... It's it's also a. It's hard to get Madison Square Garden of in your movie at, with a full audience. And, God, and he just Sold happened out. to have one that week. And we were like, we should just shoot it. Shut and it. let's just get on there and we'll sing a different song together. Of course. But they'll get wide but shots. And like, then during the sound check, we'll like shoot the at, real song. Like at the same time. Everything was at the same time. Like yeah. concert, movie, a new know. song. I had to, I had to learn uh, the lyrics of the song that we're going to sing together because it was different <laughs> than the other one. And then, <laughs> and then the teleprompter song, didn't work. It didn't work, and it was like it was my turn to sing. She came out like this beautiful queen over there, <laughs> and I saw her, and I, and I was like, okay, Jen, let's do this. And I, and I was sure that the teleprompter was working. I don't know why. And then I saw the teleprompter; and it was off. So what did you do? I was like, you, yeah, I, I, like, <laughs> please like, help me. Okay, and yeah, she, yeah. she was like, okay, I got it. And then we we we, we signed the the hook together, and no one actually noticed it yeah and, and there's a live audience and there's a huge live audience mm. who goes crazy just like it would be in real life you come mm -hmm. out of you know whenever you're at a concert and you have a guest come out everybody goes crazy so i come out of his concert they go crazy and we have that all in the movie and it's mm -hmm. it's it's really it's one of the one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie it's, and it's, it's very uh very romantic yeah. Very romantic when when I start singing with with Jennifer that that part is like it really touched your heart. He's I mean, trying to win her back in that moment, and it's just mm -hmm. you know, and she's <laughs> struggling with where she wants to be, and it's a it's it, it's filled with a lot of emotions, different complex you know emotion. Yeah. Obviously, it's a rom com. It's a light movie. First of all, romantic comedies are not light movies; they're necessary beautiful movies and I don't know why people feel like they have to put them down oh, when I'm everybody them enjoys down. them so much it's like chick flicks it's like uh, dude I don't know I don't know guys who don't love to go to the movies and watch a rom-com with me you know what I, I, love mean? It, I, I mean, mean I, I, seriously I, like stop to be honest, yeah. stop you know what I mean so yeah. I, let's it's it's a it's a very sweet movie but it is still a movie about it's life real. and it's love very real. but it's also I want I want you to also reflect on the I guess the significance of having a movie, a big feature film, mm -hmm. that has an, a Latin leading lady, a Latin leading man, yep. 
Latin music. Yep. I'm sure there's some Spanish in there. Yep. At a time when it's been so hard for Latin to break through Hollywood. But it's it it's not easy to get these films done, is it, Jennifer? Or or at no. least I don't see them being done by anyone except you. Yeah, you know it's I mean? not common. It is is not common. Listen, I've been doing movies for twenty five years now, mm -hmm. and I've done around forty something movies with my production company. I think it's very important. And one of the things, like I said, we wanted to do with this film was to have an international, you know, star. Um, who could be with me right there to make an album that was bilingual for the first time ever in an mm -hmm. English movie, yeah. and that was that was a big deal for us. And that I, that <coughs> idea of you know you know Hollywood us kind of making our mark, mm -hmm. um, telling our stories, but also just yeah. telling a story is super Sorry. important. I, I like the part of a story. It's not mm -hmm. just our stories, but stories that yeah. resonate with. Everyone. Human yeah. stories. You know, that was always my goal from the beginning of my career is that I never just wanted to be put in a box. Mm -hmm. I wanted to always be a person. You know, like, look at me like I'm a person. Don't look at me mm -hmm. like I'm one type of person. I'm just a Latin girl over here We're and I can only do real. these things. Mm -hmm. I can only do these things. Mm -hmm. No, I can do anything. Mm -hmm. You should let me play the president of the United States. You should let me play, you know, you mm -hmm. whatever. I, I should be able to do that. And that's always been my goal with my career is to show diversity in the different things and characters that I could play. I feel that both of you have accomplished that in your in your own ways. You're, you're very versatile artists. You do a lot of things. And uh, the whole barrier of, because it has been a barrier, so I feel comfortable using that word of being mm -hmm. Latin or speaking Spanish or having an accent or whatever has not been a barrier for you, or if it has, you've been able to mm -hmm. break it down. Yeah. How important is that for you in your careers? Like, how aware are, are you of that happening around well, you? Well, it's, it's not a secret that it's been difficult, mm -hmm. you know, like like for us as Latin community to get through the American market, it's been difficult, right? But I think like people like Jennifer, that she's been working for a long time, like trying to people to understand uh, who we are as community, as Latin mm -hmm. community. She's been working pretty hard for that. And she opened a lot of doors for my career, for a lot of a lot of artists that they work to with the Latin culture. So for me, I just feel honored. I mean, you know, like I feel very grateful with Jennifer because she gave me the opportunity that as a Latin artist, Latino from Colombia, Medellin, this little town over there, who was gonna think that I was gonna be, that my first movie was gonna be a Hollywood movie with Owen Wilson and Jennifer mm -hmm. Lopez. You know, and we're, we're, we're making history right now as a Latin community. And I feel very proud to be part of this big, big uh, movement that, that we're having right now. Well, one thing that I've always loved about Jennifer is that even though you're this big mainstream star, you always, always go back and do Latin things, mostly in music, which I, I love. But, but how important is that Latin identity to both of you? It's important to me, for sure. I mean, everybody right. knows that I'm a Puerto Rican girl from the Bronx. It's not something I ever tried to hide or ever thought I should hide so I could get ahead. Mm -hmm. I always felt that that individuality is what made me different from every other actress that was out there when I first started. Mm -hmm. And even before I started making music, because I started acting before I started making music. And so it's it's... It's super important to me. I, I feel like, you know, some people go, oh, she's always saying she's from Puerto Rico, she's from the Bronx, you know, she's always blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm proud of that. And there's no reason for me to ever hide that part of myself sure. to be successful. Mm -hmm. To the contrary, I feel it's the secret to my success. Imagine how important it is for me that I got a tattoo. They said Medellin. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's I think important. Latinos feel very connected yeah. to where they're from. There's mm -hmm. something that runs inside your blood that is that makes you who you are, that gives you that fire, that gives you that passion. Sure, you know, sure. it's it, it. those are like cliche things like related to Latinos, but the truth is it is a real thing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's what a real thing, it's a real drive. Uh -huh. Coming from nothing and wanting something and, you know, working hard and all of that is because of where we started. Exactly, I just want to be known 
around the world that I'm Colombian, you know, and then a Latin <laughs> and I represent my culture. Because everybody's like, hey, why, why you don't start uh, singing in English, right? And I'm like, why well, I'm gonna do it if I'm if I'm doing concerts in Romania, Israel, Morocco, and they're singing- And the United and, States. And, and the States, exactly, you know, and it's crazy. And, and, exactly, and they're singing in Spanish. So why should I start singing in English? I don't feel like that's my essence. You know, I wanna bring my essence around the world. Mm -hmm. And my essence is singing in Spanish and doing urban music and doing things mm -hmm. that represent us. We're talking about language. You're working on a Spanish language album. I'm always working on you a Spanish language. You are always language. working on it. <laughs> you are. <laughs> it's true. I just like never finish it. Uh -huh. But why is this album so important to you? I love I love singing in Spanish. Honestly, I think I sing better in Spanish than I even do in English. I and do I too. love I think so. and I love singing in English. La you know? del Bronx. Yeah, la negrita yeah. del Bronx le mete. I mean when we're in the studio when she was singing uh, some parts in, in Lonely, they, they were in Spanish. It sounded so nice, you know, that, that yeah, feels I very love natural it. too. Yeah, I love it. I love Spanish music. So that's a big part of who I am. And that's why I'm always working on music. But again, you don't want to put anything out until you feel like it's the right thing at the right time. Like mm -hmm. these songs we started working on. I've been working on some songs in an album for like three years, but these songs we did them like mm -hmm. this one song and I, we put it right out. It's just, yes. you have to, you have to feel it in the moment, you know? Mm -hmm. How important was the Super Bowl for you to have done that show? Oh, the Super Bowl was monumental for me. I, you know, for me, it was about what we were going to say mm -hmm. when we took that stage and also represent ourselves in the best way, of course, and do the best show, most exciting show that, that I could. But also I wanted to say a lot with that performance and it was very nuanced for latinos yes there was a lot of messages in there mm -hmm. for women for latinos for little girls for latinos here in the united states and everything that we've been going through how we've been treated and how you have to we can't stay quiet we have to get loud we have to stand up for ourselves against injustice and and women as well Mm -hmm. That's why I said, let me hear you women. Let me hear you Latinos. It's time to get loud. We don't stay in the background anymore. Our vote matters. We matter. And this is how powerful and strong and beautiful and talented that we are. And don't ever forget it. That that's that's what I wanted to do with that show. And uh, I think I think I think I did a good job. I think you did a pretty decent <laughs> what job. We did, I was proud of what I, I did. What we didn't what? do the movie and the songs before. I know, we could have done it together. So, so we couldn't sing together. And we didn't have any song together. Trust me, I thought about putting Maluma in okay. it. You know? Now, as, as uh, kind of holistic stars, both of you, how do you, what's your priority right now for each of you? I mean, I have a lot of different artistic pursuits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> so, you know, some of my day is producing some of my time is you know acting when i'm on a set some of my time is making music some of my time is touring some of my time is doing my you know my businesses my skincare my perfumes my there's so many different things mm -hmm. so i just it's hard to say whatever needs to be done at the moment is the priority for me okay <laughs> that's how i prioritize Okay. It's no, like, okay, this valid. is due by this time. This is what I need to get done. Everything else. And I'm able to kind of compartmentalize mm -hmm. and prioritize in a way that I know I don't ever want the projects to suffer because I, I take on a lot. Mm -hmm. And for you, Maluma? Well, I'm always thinking in the next move. You know, I'm always making music. I have my studio with me everywhere I go. I'm always writing. You know, that's my biggest passion, right? Music for me, but also I'm thinking that I, I want to keep acting. Like I have to take advantage of this opportunity that I'm, that I'm living right now for start looking for my, my next movie, of course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And everything about art. I love art, you already know. But for me, my priority number one, number one right now is trying to be happy, you know, like trying to look for my own happiness. Because I feel sometimes that I've been working so hard that I forget about myself. Forget how to live. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So for me, it's like I want to be in peace with my family, my friends, all this quarantine helped me a lot to to reconnect with me, you know, with myself, my roots, my family, Medellin, my dogs, my animals. And that's the kind of life that I actually want to live. You know, I love touring too, and I miss it. Mm -hmm. Of course I do. But, I, but right now I'm living such a beautiful moment. You know, I'm living right now in Miami, sometimes in Medellin. I go to the studio, I wake up, 
whenever I want to wake up, I go to the gym whenever I want to go. I have my projects, of course, I have my compromises and everything, but I'm, I'm so happy right now. I feel like balanced, you know, because I've been touring for almost seven years in a row. Like I haven't stopped and now yeah. I had to stop, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm feeling like so happy right now. I don't know. In my personal life, I'm super balanced right now. So it, it also shows in my career. And, and with Jennifer, I see a little bit of the same. I, I get a kick out of your uh, workout videos on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> being home during this time and being with the kids uh, was really a special time. And we got to do things that we never get to do. You mm -hmm. know, so yeah, I work out in the garage at home, mm -hmm. <laughs> in the <Later> backyard. <laughs> and uh, it's been a lot of it's been a lot of fun. It's been different. And it, it made me realize, and probably you realize this too, like it's not going to go away. I think one of the fears of artists and performers is that if I stop, What's it's going to go away. Yeah. And it doesn't. You, you need to believe and have a little bit more faith in yourself in th than mm. that. And know that, you know, when you're ready to put out the next album, even if it takes two oh, years, yeah. it's okay. You know, so long, as, so long yeah. as you can, you know, everything has its time. Everything has its time, and you you have to take time for the things that matter. I felt like I was living in a rush. Yeah, you, you know, were. Like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> breakfast, like we'll have two minutes to, to take a breakfast. Yeah, what? no time to go boom, to the boom, bathroom. Boom. Exactly, let's go. The <laughs> plane, come on, the bags. Everything was like like full of adrenaline right now. You know, that used to be super, super rush, everything. Right now, it's like chill. I'm still producing, you know, I'm yeah. still making music. I'm still doing my things, but just more calm and I yeah. see that they work the mm -hmm. same or even better yeah you know going back to kind of the evolution of Lat Latinos in film and Latino representation which for me is such a pet peeve mm -hmm. I'm sure for you for both of you mm -hmm. too like like I forget the stat but it's like six percent oh of, it's very of very low. roles are Latin it just kills me but music somehow seems to have broken that barrier in the last four years so quickly and so thoroughly in a way that that film didn't. I think music is the universal language, whereas film is not really a universal language. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody, it, rhythm and, and melody is something that anybody can understand. You don't have to speak the same language to mm -hmm. do it. And I think Latin music had a really great moment in that we had some really dynamic artists you know, if you think about the first Latin explosion that they talked about, which was mm -hmm. me and Mark and Enrique yeah. and 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 Shakira and Ricky. yeah, Ricky Martin, like all those, all that was the first time that people were like, oh, Latin artists mm -hmm. exist yes. in mainstream America. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was about but to we say had that. to do English music. Yes. Uh, right. Because I, I grew up speaking English music, but some of them crossed over who were doing Spanish music. Ricky, Shakira, Anthony, they, and all they of them. open already so I many was, doors. Yeah. And so this thing that, that just happened was the first time that Spanish music was embraced. But I think, again, it, it comes down to the artists, the artists. There was a lot of dynamic artists at that time. Not saying there haven't been over the mm -hmm. years. It just people were like, oh, this is sexy, this is hot, yeah. this is good. And then it became pop. You had Despacito, mm -hmm. you had all this stuff that I happened. I kind of feel like we're doing great music right now. We're doing yeah. great music. I mean, I, but that, that, said it. Yeah, she's, that was the great thing. The mm -hmm. great thing was that now people were interested in Spanish music yeah. with Spanish changed. singers, right? It's, it's like the new the new mind, the mm -hmm. new generation, they, they think different. Where do you guys see yourselves a year from now? Filming maybe, yeah. more. Another Will you be touring movie. together? Is Another movie together, maybe, please. Maybe. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll tour together. Maybe we'll do yeah. a movie together. I don't know. I want to know, Jennifer, tell me your workout routine. My workout routine? Yes. I, I see you with the yeah. stuff on Instagram, but tell me like the workout. And then I'll ask you too, because I know you also have a workout routine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I think, like, is it so much cardio, so much like, what is it? Yeah, it's not a lot of cardio anymore. Mm -hmm. No, because I... Usually I'm, I dance a lot. Heavy weights? Everything. It's heavy weights. Okay. Very heavy, really? Not very heavy. I mean, I can't pick up very heavy weights. You know, they're heavy weights for me. But I do I do weightlifting. I lift. And okay. I started doing that a few years, maybe two years ago, when I knew I was going to do the Hustler movie. Three years ago. Mm -hmm. Two and a half years ago now. I used to the changes. Like and the I realized that my body actually needed that. Mm -hmm. You know, as you get older, you lose, start losing muscle. And so you have to, like, put the muscle back on. And has Alex changed your routine too? Or do you teach him and you're like, no, you're doing that wrong. Do it no, he likes, he <laughs> likes doing like 
crossfit and hit you know and yeah. things like Functional that and, training. yeah and i'm yeah, like yeah. dude <laughs> lift the weights go home <laughs> yeah i can't yeah you know, i'm i've worked hard at all the cardio stuff and it's just not my thing anymore um, right now I, no, i'm in really i'm playing. in love with bicycle right now i just got a new bicycle and i brought <laughs> i brought it to la actually and i'm in love with it like every morning when i have the chance i go out and and ride bicycles. You know what you would like? I have, which I do do cardio on actually is... Um, the one that you fall? No, not the one I fell. What, when did I fall? <laughs> what are you, you talking about? You told me the other day. Oh, I fell yeah, on the bike. Yes, you're right. No, that wasn't what I fell she? on. Yeah, I ate, uh, yeah, I fell on a bike the other day. But this is the, the um, elliptical the bike. Elliptical. Okay. You will love it. Okay. Uh, I love the elliptical bike. Same but Alex is always afraid it. I'm going to fall on that one, too. Okay. He's like, I hate when you ride that thing. I'm like, why? He's like, it's so dangerous. I don't think so. I think it's amazing. But I'm I did fall on a regular But I'm bike. super in love with, with bicycle right now. On that note, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being with us in Billboard Latin Music Week. Thank you. Good thank luck you. with Naomi. Thank, thank you. you.